So this is going to be super important for you if you're doing anything like film scoring, music for media, games, whatever, and you're trying to figure out how to align, how to have your musical ideas align and sit tightly with the film, with the video. And so what is the challenge? What's the problem? Well, the video or films are in the time domain. The director didn't think about the music structure when they uh, filmed the, the video, right? And while on the other hand, the music follows the musical structure of bars. And so that's not always aligned. So you might have a very important moment in the film that doesn't sit nicely in your musical arrangement. So let's see how we can resolve this with time warp. Right, so first of all, I have this little clip here for this example, and you can see this red notice here. This means that our FPS doesn't match. So what you need to do, go to project, go to project setup and get frame rate from video. Click this and hit OK, we're good. Next, there are a few things that we want to do before even starting, and that is adding a couple of special tracks. So these tracks are the markers and the tempo. Now, why do we need both of them? Markers, this is going to help us mark specific moments in the video, things that will help us get our ideas into the right structure. For example, if we have a scene where somebody is opening a door and that's significant for us to change pace or do anything, we want to mark that. So that is important for us also to get a sense of what's going on in the movie and how we want to compose. Next, why do we need the tempo? Because in order for us to align our musical ideas with the, let's say, linear uh, structure of the film, we need to make some tempo changes. So let's start with marking few places in this little clip and move from there. We need to make sure our time base is linear and not musical. Again, because our film is in linear, it is in the sort of the time domain, not musical. So for the markers, you can see this note here. Click this, this will turn into a clock. If you don't see that option, right click, go to the settings here, the track control settings, and add that. That's somewhere here. That's our toggle time base. So you might see anything like that. Again, right click, go to the control settings, add. Okay, we're good. Now we need to do the same for our virtual instruments. And here I have contact, so I'm going to change this right here to linear. So again, just to stay in focus, let's say that I want to start some idea right here when it says burner. That's our marker, but it falls between bars. And I might be able to do anything like that, just remove this snapping go somewhere here and say, okay, let's record, right? Now, of course, I can move things around. I can align this and just arrange things. That's fine. I can do that. But in more complex projects, that's going to be a very big headache when you're moving things or when we're trying to align different instruments. So what I can do is work with the time warp. So again, here we have a couple of steps. First, I'm going to make sure I'm snapping and I'm selecting the last option here, grid events and cursor. And in a second, you'll see why. So we are ready for some time warping magic and let's click the time warp tool, but click it again and select the warp grid musical event follow. This will help you with aligning your MIDI events. 
Now, the first thing that I'm doing is having this point right here, click this one. This is going to set our beginning. Whatever is happening before that point, we don't care. It's not going to change anything for us. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, let's align our first marker with the fifth bar. So I'm just going to hover on top of this and drag it and it's going to snap. Remember that we selected this option here, grid, events and cursor. That's our snapping. So that's why it's so easy for us. And so what's going on here? What was happening behind the scene is that the tempo track was aligned. So Cubase was doing all the hard work for us behind the scene. So if we we'll go into the tempo track, you'll see that we started with 110, moved then next to 115 and back to 110. So let's scroll to the right. We have another point right here. So what I can do is just drag that and align this. So of course, this looks weird to you. If this is new to you, that is how film scoring work. So the BPMs are very random sometimes, but what we care about is the actual story here and having the moments that are important be at a starting point of a bar. So as you can see, we have the beginning of our film right here that's aligned with bar number two. Then we have bar five and bar nine. So everything is aligned. So we can start and record something here. So that was a very simple example, but I hope this makes everything clear about time warping and how you can use it to align specific events within a film and have them make sense in a musical domain where we want to have the starting of a bar in certain moments. And this makes everything a lot easier easier. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next videos.